Evening, chaps. Hey, all that. What are you doing here? I'm cleaning my shirt. No one else is going to do it, mate. Well, I'm actually here for, for talk of the town. I thought I'd co-host again. What about Harry? 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 Harry who? Harry Houdini. <whistles> Come on, you reds. Action. Action, we're back. We are. We're back. What, what episode? Six, I believe. I think number six. You know, my second one. So, you're so happy about that. No, I'm really happy about that, actually. Mm. Uh, happy to have you back because you're not only because you're, you're great to look at, you know, you've got insight into the. Face for TV, not radio. Yeah, yeah. We, I got that the other way around last time. So, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll let you off. So, yeah. What's been going on? Bristol, Bristol Rovers. Yeah, Bristol Rovers. Um, first of all, just want to commend the away support because it was brilliant. Weirdly, actually, where I was sat in the media box, I couldn't see any of them. So I was actually saying to Sam, no one's here. Went down and saw, you know, two, whatever it was, two, three hundred. Brilliant support, really loud. You could hear them. Um, and actually a much improved performance, I thought. Yeah, I think the, the last two away games, Charlton and Bristol, I thought they were amazing. Bristol, mm. they were funny as hell. And obviously uh, somebody ran on the pitch and decided not to go all the way. He sort of run out of uh, gas, shall we say. Yeah. And then, yeah, like you said, lovely hot day down in Bristol and, and the fans were, were in full voice. Uh, so you've got to commend them for that. They were, and well, on the pitch as well. Obviously, Tom Nichols was back, made a real impact. I don't think he was a fan favourite at Bristol. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Where, you know, he's an absolute geezer for us. Scores the goals, sets up the goals. He's a, a, a brilliant focal point for us. And yet, I think I was talking to their manager at the time, it was Daryl Clark, I think, mm. and he just said, "Yeah, great guy." Just, just didn't really score for us, so it was, it was one of those, you know, yeah, strikers. They're they're judged on their goals, shall we say? So he didn't sort of uh, cut the mustard in terms of goals, but all round play, you know what you're going to get from Nico, and and I love him. I'm sure you do too. Well, of course I do. Someone else actually who is kind of the opposite. Tony Craig was walking around like David Beckham at Bristol Rovers because the amount of people I saw come up to Tony for photos after the game. We were about to get our interview done. Two fans come over, oh, Tony, Tony, in the Western accent. Can you do that one again? I won't. Okay. But he, he, he was loved there and, you know, obviously spent a few years there, didn't he? Yeah, I think I think what you get with defenders, especially in, in Tony Tony's sort of mould, is they put their head on the line. They, you know, mm. give it all out there. So it's easy to buy into. Uh, you're a big, strong centre-half that, kicks and heads everything and as a support that's what you want so yeah we love tony and uh i'm sure everywhere else he's he's been they have as well especially at bristol actually one big achievement tony has made or is going to make at the weekend if he if he does play is a uh, 650 senior appearances it will be for him yeah it's not bad is it 650 yeah not quite you said. yeah i've had a few more but you know it's not, it's not about me it's not he's got a few years he's yes he's got a few years a, a lot a lot of years on me but yeah but no uh, the performance I, I enjoyed though second half especially was we were really, on them I mean we dominated them didn't we we did we were we were all over them they couldn't really get out you know I think the goal sort of forced our hand to attack more and them to sit back but yeah no uh, fair play to the boys the effort that they put in uh, the quality was there just just that little bit you know in the final third to to finish it off and you know in football it's the hardest thing to do is score a goal and but come saturday i'm pretty sure we're we're, we're score a couple yeah anyway our videographer charlie palethorpe was at the game and here's what he captured
Love it, Chaz. Super Very arty, always. isn't he? He is, yes. Loves he a slow mo and a loves a little flash and a and a bang. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flash and a bang. That's what he loves. Yeah, he does. Yeah, but yeah, one of the players that that wasn't pushed through for Bristol is is, is Mr. Joel Lynch. Joel um, Lynch. Some of you eagle-eyed fans would have seen Joel. Joel was at the game. He was warming up, um, but sadly, obviously, we couldn't get his registration done before kickoff. Bloody um, FA. Uh, the FA, I know. Uh. However, I did speak to him earlier today, uh, first time since he joined the club. <laughs> Joel, Steve, welcome to Crawley. It's our first interview since you've got the deal over the line. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, just delighted to get it done, obviously. Um, it's been I've been in training since uh, since like March, so I've, I've been around the lads and, and obviously the managers uh, sort of giving me an opportunity to come in and train and um, and obviously got a, got a deal over the line, which I'm, I'm delighted about. Yeah. And we know you actually know a lot of the lads from being here for such a long time. Is that a good factor in, in joining the club, and being familiar with the players? Yeah, definitely. Um, sometimes it's quite it's it's quite daunting, obviously, to, to to come into a new group of lads and whatever. But obviously, I know all the lads now. I've got to know them. To know their games and and being around, being around the club, seeing how the club plays and stuff, it's, it's helped me um, obviously settle in. But um, yeah, now I'm here. Um, I mean, from day one, I've obviously wanted to get a deal done, and, and it's done now, and I can kick on. We know you bring a, a wealth of experience. You've played some at some fantastic clubs, at Sunderland, QPR, and teams like that. Is that one of the main things that you can bring to the squad? Experience, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I, people say it a lot, obviously, because of my age and my experience, and like you said, the teams I play for. But um, it, it's not for me. It's it, it's almost like a fresh start. Do you know what I mean? I've been out of the game for like a year. It's been a, it's been a tough time uh, since leaving my last club. But um, and I'm definitely not going to take it for granted. Do you know what I mean? For me, it's a complete fresh start, and I want to kick on. I want to I want to help the lads out. Want to do the absolute best I can um, for the team. And, and obviously for myself to get back in the game and, and sort of prove people wrong. And we know you're a centre back. What kind of player are you at the back, and what do you think you can really bring to the team? What can the fans expect from you on the pitch? Uh, um, I, I, I mean, it's League Two, so I would say I try try to pass it out from the back and stuff. But it's every game's different. I think um, from the games that I've watched in League Two, it's it's more about being solid at the back, staying in games, and sort of nicking results, especially especially for us at the minute, um, the situation we're in where things aren't really going our way. I think if we can sort of uh, get that solidness at the back, get a few clean sheets and then um, nick a few results, um, that'll build up the confidence. It's, it's a young squad and I think um, I think a lot of games this league will be determined on on obviously work rate. Whoever's like working the hardest is, is, is always going gonna, gonna to come out on top, but confidence, like getting that confident and, and just giving that Giving that extra bit of experience at the back and making it a little bit more solid, do you know what I mean? Staying in games and, and, and making more results. And you've got over 300 championship appearances. Do you think you can bring some of what you've learned from those clubs to Crawley? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like I've had a, such a long career and I've sort of. I've, I feel like I've seen it all, do you know what I mean? And I, and I know. I know what it's like to be the underdog. I think people look at Crawley a bit like an underdog and. I was not expected to do much, and do you know what I mean? But I think just a little bit of confidence, a few results, and things change. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be obviously in and around the lads and help them out as much as I can off the pitch. But um, I think just my my experience on the pitch hopefully will show. Talking I do on the pitch, the organising, you know what I mean, the players, the younger players, I will help. And yeah, like I said, I'm not here to sort of make up the numbers I'm here to really kick on and, and do absolutely everything I can for the club and what conversations have you had with the gaffer obviously since your time here since you got the deal over the line uh, the manager has been absolutely class like he, he's been brilliant with me like I, I phoned him up what six months ago and, and just asked him to come in and train and he's perfect he's been so accommodating of me uh, just with training uh, Brad is obviously as well and Youngie and um, yeah I can't thank them enough really they Especially things that I've been through in the last year in football, it's, it's been a tough situation, and um, there's not a lot of people in football you can trust really. And I think the manager has been fantastic with me, and I owe him a lot. And
Yeah, so uh, great interview there with Joe Lynch. Yeah, very happy to have him on board. Really nice to talk to, obviously, for the first time since he's joined. He's been here a long time. You even trained with him as well and played in that Beckenham game with him. Yeah, that's how long he's been here. No, I, I've, I've been around him and watched him train, watch him be around the older players, the younger players. And yeah, that class sort of oozes. He knows how to be a footballer in terms of, you know, preparation mental attitude everything i think i think it's a good signing and uh i think timing is, is massive in football because obviously we've got a lot of injuries within our squad especially at center half so i think he goes straight in and and it's up to him to to to, to earn an extension should we say because he's got a contract till january i believe so uh, yeah i'm pretty sure that he'll get a good run in the team and yeah i think we are extend it yeah it was interesting to actually hear him call it a fresh start for himself here at crawley and also he can bring that championship experience to the club for some of the younger lads especially that'd be a massive help yeah i i, I think that's massive you know to actually watch a player that's been at that level you know what you've got to do you know you've got to put in the extra work you've got to train right every you've got to do the weights you've got to eat right you know you've got to do you've got to commit to football mm. and that's what joe lynch has done and he still does it now so that's why he's still playing he's still hungry and yeah, yeah, I'm happy to have him on board. Well, hopefully we'll see him on Saturday back at home. Um, obviously, hospitality's going again, Reds Bar's going again. What are you going to be up to on Saturday? Well, have you heard, are you, no, you haven't, have you? Boomtown Rats, you've heard of them? I have today. Yes. Because of what's been going on behind the scenes. Okay. And I knew of Bob Geldof. Bob Geldof, well, but you know, Bob Geldof's band. Mm, the Rats. Well, you know, Bob Geldof, he's the old geezer that does the old. Oh yeah, Live Aid. Live Aid, the original. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the manager, Paul Welch, mm. is, is, is uh, I know, Mark Welch, actually. Sorry, that's his brother. Uh, yeah, he's going to come upstairs and um, have a little chat. So I think there'll be a lot of interesting stories that might come out from a, yeah. a manager that's been on the road with a with a, a pop band, shall we say. A so, lot of stories there. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I'd imagine, yeah. Mm. And I think, I think they're playing in Crawley on the 12th of October. So mm. if you can go down there, have a look at that. Obviously, we've got Rick Astley, haven't we? Yes. Never going to give you up and all yeah. that. Never going to let you down. Yes. So hopefully, yeah, I'm going to go down there. I'm going yeah. to Keith, the Muzz and Murray. The Muzz Meister. Um, yeah, so it should be a yeah. good one. That is a, that is Saturday night, by the way, uh, Lingfield race course. And we do have a... We have, we have, a, we have a little have link, a link for discounted tickets. We will put in the description below. Mm -hmm. uh, Lingfield race course, Saturday night. Brilliant way to spend the evening after three points for Crawley. Absolutely. There you go. Three points, three pints, bosh. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, so what, what else are we doing? What else are we doing? Uh, you know what, I'm going to have to look to my left because we have a fantastic raffle uh, that we are going to start for a particular shirt from Cross Prostate Chris. Yeah, is that his name now? That's his, his name well, His name is given to him, Chris Russell. That's the, that's the name around. Yeah, but so basically he's the, he, he did the walk, which is amazing, uh, raised a lot of money, but we want to raise a bit more. Mm. Uh, we have got a signed Bullman and Tubbs shirt. How about that? Do you yeah. want to grab it? Do you want to show the guys? Yes, I will do. Try and. Hmm. I mean, it is here, Billy. Do you want to kind of? There you go. Help I don't me know what the front of that. Well. So basically, yeah, that's uh, an original. I can I can tell you that was signed by me, so authenticated. You know, Matt's gone for best wish wishes, so that's a nice touch there. Personalised there you go but yeah no there's going to be a uh, is it an auction it'll or be an auction sorry yeah an auction on ebay um get involved raise some money for prostate cancer we know chris has done such an amazing job already uh, we've got a lovely video of him and jeff and, and cammy which was which was good which was um unbelievable and we've raised some good money already obviously he's been at the games and walked around with his bucket and picked up some money but we're going to do one extra bit and uh yeah that's going to be up for auction very soon so keep an eye out for that we'll be putting that on our social media and website uh yeah talking of like promotional things we are doing a raffle a ra uh, oh, so this very soon. Game. Keep your eyes open, guys, because we yeah. are doing a raffle. And you will maybe be able to take on the cat when Wild Cat's away. Which, uh, yeah, six lucky fans, they could get involved. Which, uh, If you're available on a Thursday afternoon, that is. So, yeah, no, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, you and your friends. Um, obviously, we're going to run a raffle. Uh, I think it's £10 a pop. It is. It's, you can come to the ticket office or buy online. There's going to be an option on our club store very, very soon. Uh, just keep an eye on our website, basically, and our social media. Uh, and it'll be a chance for yourself and your friends to 
take on the cat or the, while the cat's away, the game that we introduced last week. You can come down, meet some of the players, see if you can beat the player's score of eight, which the bar was set high. Do you it think? Was. Uh, think it well, was. we was talking in the office, you know, some people think they've got a better bar. Well, the office they're, staff they're, think they can beat it. But. Well, we, we, uh, maybe we get involved in that. But who have got involved? Who we've, we've just we've, filmed? We have. We, we've got the Crawley Old Girls involved. Yes. So they gave it their all. Uh, let's see how they got on. Welcome to Cats Away. We've got the Cogs. Your name is? My name is Carol Bates. Uh, what position do you play? Um, up front, but unfortunately okay. I haven't. No, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, your name and position, please. Hi, I'm Karen Ashcroft, and I usually play right back. Good. My name's Kim Condon, and I normally play up front. Uh, Sam Barton, centre midfield. Hi, I'm Jackson, and I'm right wing. Fantastic. Tracy Thornton, goalie and defender. Two. Kim Joslin, defender. Fantastic. Carmen Haller, right wing. Winger. Emma Marsh, defender. Defence. Gillian Weston, defence. Let's go, guys! Don't, don't think about it, it's just, it's just, yeah, just think about it enough. Right. Focus, the time, the time in. Okay, 60 seconds, guys, yeah. Cut the ball down this way, who's behind me? Oh, I need a stopwatch. Are you ready? Start the fans, please. <whistles> oh, go on then. Someone keep count, George. Oh my God, that was so close. Ah, so we've got one so far. Come on, Carrie, you're doing a fantastic job there. Well done. That's, that's your... Ah, oh, they've got a great system. There's number two. Go on, then. She's buzzing with herself. There's three. Oh, my God. Yes, look. Ah, oh, watch out the way, you. So we've got three in the ball. Oh, trick shot. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep going, guys. 20 seconds to go. Come on, come on. You can do it. Oh, no. Carol, come on. You're, you're getting tired, mate. Ah, oh, free. Still on free. 10 seconds to go. Oh, my God. Five seconds. Get it going in. Come on, quick. Last one. Quick, go. Ah, stop. Fantastic. Big round of applause for Carol there. Do you, want to, do, you want to get, do you want to go and sit down? Yeah, do you want to say how we'll great down. your girl's done? I think they've done really well. Well done, guys. Well, You'll be in the leaderboard. Oh, goggy, goggy. Up the cogs, yeah. Uh, up the cogs. Yeah, yeah, great effort from them. Um, up there. Obviously, you can get involved as well. Your friends, your colleagues, your company, anyone can come down. Uh, contact Alex Watts at crawleytownfc.com. Uh, and yeah, find out about the availability. We'll get you down to the training ground, meet the lads and take on while the cat's away. Uh, yes, yeah, so I thank you, Carol, uh, and the Cogs. Uh, some more thank yous. Yes. Uh, our sponsors that uh, sponsor the show wouldn't uh, wouldn't go ahead without them, really, would it? Yeah, Pure Seafood and the Tint Doctor, obviously two great partners, and none of this would be uh, able, well, none of it would be able to happen without their support. So we're, we're greatly appreciative of that. Can they check yes, out sorry, the links yes, below? Links below. Uh, we'll link them both below. We'll also link. Um, the, the raffle for the for the while the cats away other bits and bobs we've got going the the ebay auction will be in there too uh for the for the so everything you need really just everything get down below below yeah um yeah so talk to me about the sponsors who are they pure seafood so yep. yeah uh popped down actually popped down last week got myself some fish made a lovely dinner for me and my me and my family went down a treat fish stew oh uh paella actually Ah, cool. And Tint Doctor, what do they uh, get up to? Yeah, well, you need your, your bricks tinted, you know, getting a bit dirty, and you think I could do with a bit of a clean-up. Get them involved. Tint Doctor, you know, I've seen what they do. We're actually going to go and do a bit of promotional stuff with them at some point, which will be on the show, and we'll basically we'll, we'll show you how I think, they tint their Yeah, I think, I think Talk of the Town is going on tour, guys, so look out for those dates. Yes, we'll also be at Pure Seafood as well, so you'll be able to see those fish live in action. Yeah, so a big thank you to them. Um, it's just up to us to say, you know... Get behind the boys on Saturday. Yes, hope you enjoy the show. Uh, we won't ask them that. We just we'll just, just shoot. Yeah, they do. enjoy the yeah. show, guys. Yeah, please. And uh, yeah, come on the Reds. Big win on Saturday. Up the uh, Carlisle. Bring the three points home. Then Rick Ashley in the evening. Never going to give you up, Sean. Never going to let you down. Goodbye, Reds. Come on, you Reds. <laughs>